going on the news today, all they're talking about is this hurricane. It's like the hot new thing. So you know now the media's going to be saturated, no pun intended, with hurricane shows, all right? This is what's going to happen. First reality show, it's going to be like Survivor Hurricane Ivan, you know, <laughs> last trailer park standing, right? <laughs> then a celebrity tape with some star having sex during a hurricane, and <laughs> then it becomes part of, like, the language. You have rappers saying, yo, this is a Category 5 about to rain down on the studio gangs. <laughs> They have Bush and Kerry denouncing hurricanes and talking about how their opponent voted for legislation to outlaw plywood and sandbags. And <laughs> then you have the VH1 world sexiest hurricanes. And you have the where are they now talking about the old hurricanes from the 80s. And finally the hurricanes up sitting under Bruce Valanche on Hollywood Square, sir. <laughs> Last night, CBS aired, I was trying to be exciting. Last night, CBS aired a segment addressing the charge that those Bush National Guard documents are fake. Listen to this. You've seen the memos that, that we broadcast, these memos that we got. I did not type those memos. You didn't type these memos? No. So with these memos, you know that you didn't type them? I know that I didn't type them. You say... You didn't type these memos. Definitely you didn't type these memos. Not these particular ones. Did you type ones like this? So, yes. Containing the same or identical the, information? The same information, yes. Well, what do you think? Well, that, that whole, that, that, this is amazing that they won't just come out and admit that what, cause pro probably they, what more or less what happened. We all know what happened more or less. But the fact that they're, they're standing on this, well, they're, 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 uh, they're, um, authentic. But they're not. What was the actual? What was it? Uh, you know, they're, they're saying that that they're, I don't they're know. saying they're forgeries. No, no, they're, but they're, they're, but they're, they're based on real yeah, stories. Yeah, they're forgeries, but they were real. And it's it's kind of like we know what happened, but it's okay that it's a forgery. It's like, hey, we have video of of the governor of New Jersey a guy at a rest station outside of it. You know, hey, it didn't happen, but we know it probably did. It's like so it's okay. When you see a movie, it's based on a true story. You know, that secretary is supposed to be eighty six, right? Uh, it's not relevant, but she looks pretty good for 86. <laughs> she does. She looks hot. And you're you're going to you're gonna see, there's going to be more documents. I won't, this won't be the end of it. There will be more documents. The guy's not around to say whether he wrote it or not. And all the new documents will be signed by the dead guy. So, no, I'm telling you right now, I just wish people would just admit the media is liberally biased, except for like Fox News. But if, if Dan Rather would just go on and go, look, I don't know. I am happen to be liberally myself that way. I'm Dan Rather. Of, all this would go away because people don't care about this stupid story. But the fact is, CBS would not have done this to John Kerry. They did it to Bush. I'm not saying they deserved it or not, but admit you're li liberally biased media. I'm in the media for 20 years. We all know it's 99.9% .9 liberal. Let's just drop it. As long as you admit it. All of you. Andy Go on your shows and movies and admit it. And then we'll drop the whole thing. Andy Rooney one time was talking about the media being liberal, and he said that Dan was transparently liberal. Meaning rather, and he wasn't trashing him, he was just saying that he is a transparently liberal guy, and everybody freaked out, and they were saying that that was like a real breach, and he shouldn't have said that. They don't, liberals hate being called liberals, I don't know why. They just hate it. Well, I think you were in trouble the minute you said Andy Rooney said one time, we were all like, <laughs> <laughs> you're quoting Andy Rooney, you got trap. Why not? He's been on TV a long time, Carl. He has been on TV a long time, but since I kind of like made the point of like, hey, liberals should just admit it. Did you hear you kind of reiterate that? the point without a humorous twist? What was the point of that? <laughs> But, I mean, we both know we both stink, but this time I stunk first, so you could have just let it go and we could have moved on. But I had a real subject. point. That no, didn't, you did I not. Did. <laughs> I did. Florida man freed after serving 22 years for a rape he didn't commit when DNA test proved he was innocent will receive nothing from the state. Because he was exact. Go ahead, Greg. You were a lawyer. Tell us. Well, I know you hate when I say that. Andy Rooney once said <laughs> that if, <laughs> you should get some. You know what? The guy was in jail for 22 years for a crime he didn't commit, and they give him nothing when he gets out. Right. What can you give somebody to make it up to? I, I think you should be allowed. If you're falsely accused of raping someone and you spend 22 years in jail, you should, when you get out, you should be allowed to really rape the person. <laughs> yeah, but it's, that's the only way that it would be fair. He's, yeah, but she was hot then. Now she was like a secretary from the uh, Dan Rather interview. That's I true. Mean, it really isn't fair because, I mean, if you're bumped on the Carson Daly show, you get a thousand dollars and some really good actor <laughs> shit. That's a good point. But not only that, but wait a minute. If, what was this guy doing? It's like, it's like when they arrested those kids, they let those kids go. They're suing now. The uh, Central Park jogging kids 
Because they didn't commit the rape, but still, they were out there beating people up in the park. You can't Sometimes say, if you play games, that's what happens. You, you, can't, you can't say he was doing something he should have been in yeah, jail. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you're right. You're the boss, but I, I don't agree with you. <laughs> Why not? If you're going to play games, sometimes you get burned. I've done plenty of stuff and paid for it. If you use bad. a 1950s expression like that again, I'm going to throw my <laughs> tea in your face. <laughs> what? Hold Hold on, on. Let me address I'm the Beretta. I'm ready to Beretta. I'm ready to Beretta. People are sending You play with play, you get burned. I got it, I do. Stop playing music if you don't want to dance. <laughs> I am awful. It's true. And I, you know, I also I love that they're releasing him. He spends 22 years in jail, and they release him in Florida during hurricane season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome home. I think of yeah, I can't believe they're not giving him anything. They, they already did. Get... Right? <laughs> yeah, so Greg, come on. Well, he'll, he'll sue, I'm sure. They just don't have a statute that specifically gives you money for being wrong. Oh. But they'll he'll sue them, and he'll 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 end up making some money. Plus, he's got all those skills, like. He can make a, a shiv out of a toothpaste roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if he got to work? All right, what about Madonna? She's on a spiritual pilgrimage. She's in Israel. Uh, the Bank Kabbalah, the whole thing. And now the Orthodox Jews having a heart attack over it. And the Palestinians are both be pissed at her because uh, she has that talent. But what do you think? Madonna is a liberal, and now she wants to be Jewish. I mean, she's taking some real show business risks. <laughs> I'm Catholic. I'm just happy to get rid of her. I'm just happy she's somewhere else for a while. I'm Jewish, and uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Oh, thank you. Happy, yeah. I just whatever holiday I'm not supposed to be here on. Right. <laughs> it's uh, Shabbos. Tell us. But I'm about as upset as this is. I know it's like I don't know why you'd get upset. It's like if Avril Lavigne became a Hare Krishna or something. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, except what? these are Orthodox Jews, not a, a pagan like yourself who's here working on Rosh Hashanah. So I mean, for Orthodox Jews, it's kind of hard for us to think you'd be upset. You're defying the uh, Talmud or whatever it's called. That I don't think it's called the Talmud. <laughs> well, is it? What do you want to say? The OT, the Old Testament. What are you defying right now? I call it the OT because I'm Talmudic kind of, law. Because I'm kind of straight. Yeah. You see that new show, the OT, about the Old Testament? It's a bunch of old Jews on the beach. And I think you're missing the real point. <laughs> is it's going to ruin her career. Let the crowd enjoy a nice riff. That's that why I, I paused. I know. Go ahead. So why'd you yell at me? I didn't. You did. Now mine's going to be ruined. going to ruin her career? Because nobody wants to hear her running around going, like a voyage. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> to find out what kind of pa parents our panel would be or are, so we're going to give you situations, and then you react as if you're talking to your kids. Okay, Vinny, your 16-year-old daughter is going to the senior prom with some hotshot stud athlete. You're alone with him in your living room right before she comes downstairs. What do you say to the guy? Now, you have a 16-year-old daughter, no? I have a 16-year-old daughter. Perfect. Been, yeah, this is mine. You can't, you can't try and scare a stud athlete. Because the stud athlete is going to be bigger than you. You have to go the other way with it. You have to say things like, I really appreciate you taking my daughter to the prom because no one else would on account of her condition. <laughs> Get him go the other way. I like that. Greg. <laughs> Greg, you catch your 15-year-old child and a friend trying to sneak a bottle of alcohol out with them on a Friday night. Uh, son, that's daddy's. <laughs> You know, what, what are you doing drinking? Have you had 12 years of near misses and career failures? Are you trying to mask the pain of aging? Are you still trying to hang on to one little glimmer of hipness or coolness, even though you realize you're a broken down old man with three snotty kids? When you get to that point, then you can share some of it with me. All right. That's it. You got to be honest with the kids. Yeah. This one's for you, Todd. Daddy, some kid at school called me a homo. What does that mean? <laughs> Son, you want to know what a homo is? Well... Have you ever seen that show, Tough Crowd? <laughs> you know that oh. sort of unspoken vibe that's in the air? <laughs> if you're saying everyone's a homo, that's fine. But if you're trying to say some hip thing like homoeroticism by people attacking each other, I'll punch you right in your green shirt right now. <laughs> Jim, you get the same one. Daddy, some kid at school called me a hammer. What's that mean? It means you should pull up your pants and get off my lap. <laughs> and you honestly think that's going to solve the problem? You better have been joking about that. Well, 
The average guy can hold out from between five and ten minutes before he climaxes during sex. The average woman's time to reach orgasm is half an hour. The practice of tantric sex is a popular way to bridge this gap by helping guys who hold out, helping guys to hold out longer. Uh, we asked each of our panel, blah, blah, blah. We asked everyone for an honest answer. I know I gave one. Let's go. Here are the results. Vinny clocks in at uh, 15 minutes. Italian, I assume that includes foreplay and dinner. All right. <laughs> Jim, Jim Norton said 20 minutes. No. Well, that includes time to process the credit cards. <laughs> That was funny. But was that homoerotic? Yeah. Well, that Todd, really your skin, didn't yeah, it, it did. Todd, Why one minute. It, your skin? it did. <laughs> I like that one. Up. Greg said he wouldn't answer the question because there's too many variables. Oh, there's no, there's no average. How do you average that out? You have to average that out. You're married. You know exactly what time you get. Yeah. You know where to end to start. Oh, my you change, man. You Don't know, you own a calculator, man? You know. Let him my, explain my wife, himself. My wife said that if you guys called her to ask, she goes, I would say five to ten minutes. I'm like, what? She goes, no, I would lie for you. <laughs> she was you're saying there's different variables depending on the day. The, the Listen, day. I don't want to get into it, but in my wife's face, well, I was pregnant would, for five years. You know, there's different. It, sometimes you got to hurry up. Sometimes you got to take a lot longer. You know, there's a lot of. He's got kids. kids. He's, he's on a schedule. We know, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You can't improve on perfection. We know, stupid. You gotta, you gotta take your time. I go very slow because I don't want to wake my wife up. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we come to the legends. The legends. Ah, sorry, folks. You want a superhero? Go for the video game. <laughs> All right. Next up. I have a question. But, yes, sir. Is that nine minutes? Is that faster or shorter if there's someone with a priest collar cuddling you? <laughs> That is the sickest thing I've ever heard in my life. What's the matter with you sitting with that satanic shirt making fun of the church? That, that whole concept of tantric sex thing is ridiculous anyway. They say that if you don't have an orgasm, it brings positive energy. I mean, if not, it gave you so much positive energy, you know, my wife would be a lot happier person. Yeah. Well, that's actually the thing. Like, in India, they used to refrain from ejaculation. You know it's, that? The, the whole tantric idea is stupid. Don't cut me off. I didn't you think I honestly just said that without a punchline from eight years ago, you <laughs> idiot? <laughs> well, I, it's not all about you comedians. I do stand-up, too, you mother... I know you, and you do it well. But I thought you were making a valid point. Hey, let's go work again together. It was fun. Remember the gateway with Keith? Uh, it was terrific. <laughs> you wanted to stop at Starbucks, and I drove past on the road. That Can was my favorite you stop talking moment. into the pool cue like it's a microphone? <laughs> no. <laughs> So what were you going to say, silly goose? I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying that I'm sick of the obsession over men and how long we take. And if you want it to seem longer, just do what I do and sleep with the girls and tell them it was longer. <laughs> hey, let's put it this way. We don't take as long as some of these gals take getting ready to go out. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>